guys, this is part of my Pro Box Respect TKO. I'm with the world middleweight champion, Billy Joe Saunders. Billy, how are you? Uh, a bit worse for wear out of the session, to be honest. Hard session. Hard session, 12 rounds? Yeah, at the uh, MTK in Marbella. Yeah. The HQ of it all. Um, love coming out here. Weather's good. Gym's good, everybody's good. Life, Absolutely. I was going to say, we've been trying to do it back home, but you know, as it happens, we're out in Spain, Marbella, great you know, weather. Going back home, I've got to travel from Arbor to Surrey. Yeah. Back and forth. It's, it's head off. I barely get time to think sometimes, but out here, it's just nice and peaceful, you know. Gym's yeah. five minutes away, beach is two minutes away, runs on the same sort of wavelength there, the beach. It's lovely. It's, it's nice, nice, isn't it? Relaxing. And, and, and you've got Porto Benus in the backdrop as well, which is lovely. So, yeah, uh, yeah, and that and Paul Benus, all the women are allowed about it. <laughs> <laughs> you always have a lot of love, innit? Well, at least they look at you, not me, mate. But um, how long have you been out here now, Bill? Yeah, we've got a couple of weeks coming up. I've been fit, I'm very fit. I'm trying to arm about a boat and I'm very, very, very fit. But um, it's without a date confirmed, yeah. as we know, we're waiting on Triple G spot signing fight. <laughs> and I don't want to be, well, for once in my life, I'm finally ahead in training. Yeah. You know? Um, I know, I know, I know today's deadline day, but before we go there, um, just wanted to ask you, mate, because obviously you you mentioned you're now with Adam. When I first met you at TKO, you was uh, with Jimmy Tibbs. You're now with Adam. How's that? How's that all working with Adam? Obviously, he's a quality trainer. With Adam Booth, I mean, it's sort of like a new lease of life, really. Yeah. Um, it's just if, if you come in and do the same thing every every day, it's just it gets on your it gets on your not nerves, but you just sort of know what you're gonna do. And at, at that time, I had a bad year boxing. You know, Jimmy's one of the best trainers I work with. 100%. I'd, I'd had a terrible year that year. Box once, box absolutely ridiculous. No, no one's fault. Um, you know, I think uh, Ben Davidson got a lot of stick. The young trainer who helped me out. I think it's not, obviously it's not his fault. My, my own fault. You know, you get a team of footballers. It's not. They sack a manager every week. It's not because of the manager. Just the players, not playing, it? you know? Yeah. And it's, I, had a, I had a terrible year and a terrible night. So I just felt like a fresh nut about him. And when I went there, it's just everything's got to be perfection. If it's not, you just you rerun it and rerun it and rerun it until it is. And I, I, all, all of a sudden, I feel like in my own self, myself come on another 15% already. Yeah. And, you know, and that's without getting a bit between my teeth of a, of a confirmed day, even though I'm training hard. You know, when I, when I know I've got that date and I've got that pun, you're just so like a sponge more and I'll just pick up and pick up and pick up and there. Bill, after that last uh, victory versus Akavok, you was very honest, as you are now, about, you know, your performance. Um, but going back to when you won the world title, December 2015, amazing victory against Andy Lee, who's now one of your stable mates. Yep. You got a lot of support and it was a great victory. Why do you think you come into a little bit of stick? And it's not a lot, I mean, maybe a few people. Do you think because they just want to see you in with the big fights all the time? Personally, myself, I think that, you know, I come off of that win. A lot yeah. of pressure on both of us. Um, close fight, good fight. A lot of respect for Andy Lee. Very good fight, best fight I've been in the ring with. 100%. Um, you know, he don't, he don't get half as much credit as he should have. Because believe me, he's a good, he's a good, good fighter and a good champion. Yeah. Um, a lot of people just look at him tall, mate. No, what you do to that man, he, he won't stay down, and no. that alone is class. Um, I share the ring with the sparring again, the great spar again. Um, but I, I think that, you know, I, I think I took my eye off the ball a bit yeah. in 2016. I think I took my eye off the ball a bit, and uh, the fans so got, I reckon, a bit frustrated, if you want to call it. And then they take it out. Listen, you get, you get some people good and bad, and you get some people's envy of some people. Some people just don't like me, I don't think. Some people probably don't like the background, I don't know. But, you know, I, I, I get, as much as stick I get, I get a lot of praise as well as the fans. Of course, you know? 100%. I've got a lot of good fans, loyal fans and that. Yeah. So that's always good to look on. But everyone's going to have some bad fans and, and you know, bad people shouting and then, you know, the, the problem is with, with people from, from this country, most of our people, anyway, they love a loser. Yeah. You know, they love getting behind a loser, you know, a losing battle, they love it. Yeah. Oh, what a great performance, he done so well. But he got stopped. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's still done well. Do you yeah. know what I mean? No, you get a win. And even if look at Tyson, he got the win and he was still, oh, 
you still fan Jibbo, you know? Yeah, still but like you said, mate, you've got, you got a lot of fans. I'm one of them. You know, you're undefeated. You won every domestic European Commonwealth and now you're world champion. So, um, well, loads the way of... I look at it, people give me stick negative and whatnot else. I bet Arthur will give me stick and neg neg negativity. We'd love to swap lives with me. Yeah, of course they would. Won every title I can win. Yeah. Unbeaten, world champion, ready to fight the best in the world on the planet. They would love to swap opportunities with me. I've probably so never I'm been in a ring. I'm doing, something, I'm doing something right somewhere. Sure. You know? Sure. But listen, boxing also is, uh, is a business. Yeah. And, you know, when Glofkin approached us first, it was the right move to say, nah, yeah. not, not for that, definitely not. Any more on the table? No, all right, see you later. But now, you know, it's a completely different story. And I don't think Glofkin's scared. I don't think he's scared or, or he's running from nobody, because he don't do that. No. It's just that, you know, I, I want to, listen, I, I say things and, and put stuff out there calling ball rat and shit like that. Triple G's <laughs> you know, he's a good fighter. He is a good fighter. I just he want to is. get him in the ring, but to test myself, yeah. to see how good I am. You know, I'm finally I'm, I'm getting the love for it back, and I just want to test myself, see how good I am. See, listen, you are in no deep water when you fight someone like him, especially where I'm going to fight him at if he fights. Yeah, it's sink or swim. So yeah. let's see, let's see what my art's test. Let's see how my art is. Let's see what my, all I've got. I have every capability I can possibly bring to the table to win that night. And Billy, I'm not saying for one second Andy Lee is a Golovkin, but just going back to Andy Lee for a second, he was, he's a good champion and people don't realise, he, you know, that left hand, you know, you took that away from him and you, and you floored him as well on, on look, the way to a victory. If you look, at, you look at Andy Lee's fights, you look at all of his fights, people never give him the recognition, never, ever, ever gave him the recognition that yeah. he should have ever got. I knew what Andy Lee was, that's the reason why I trained from the best I've ever, ever trained. I absolutely, I didn't have sugar in my coffee. I love coffee every morning. <laughs> Me too. I, I wouldn't even have a, a, an ounce of sugar in my coffee. I wouldn't have done everything perfect because I knew I had to. Because for one, I knew he had behind him, Adam Booth. Yeah. And for two, I, I watched him and studied him and I watched how he came along. His first fight with um, uh, Fitzgerald, it is Fitzgerald, for from Ireland. Yeah, his first fight for Adam, yeah. His first fight for Adam, he didn't box to nowhere near his capability. And people was going, oh, look, did you see that? Let's get this person to bring you. I knew, I knew it was nowhere near him. And then all of a sudden, you look what he did out in America. You know, yeah. Korobov, everyone was raving. You know, Jackson. no one did the fight. And Jackson, a load of them. And look who he beat on the way to becoming world champion. Look who he's worked yeah. with. You know, he, he's unbelievable talent. I've got nothing but the harsh respect for him. And uh, he's a great, great champion, and no one gave me the respect for beating him as what I should have got. And what people don't realise, if you look at some of his fights, mate, he's got like a one punch KO power. He's got it. I, I, you know? I knew t times in that fight when I was inside slipping and, and, and gliding. Yeah. I felt a few of them on the elbows, you know, catching a few. And, mate, listen, I didn't want to get by one of them. <laughs> so if you get by one of them, mate, it's definitely night and night for you, isn't it? You yeah, know what it's I mean? night and night. And, um, you know, but listen. I've been in with good punches, I've been in with good boxers, right? And he's also an Olympian. You don't get to the Olympics because you can't box or you can't fight. So he's got the pedigree there from the start all the way to the world champion. Absolutely. Um, but look, I, I know now, I know that I beat the best in England. I know that there, there is none of them there now. Your Eubanks mm. and that mob now, your John Riders. I've come through all of that. So yeah. I've, I've come through hard graphs and where I've made it hard myself. But I want to see what it's like where I'm in front and training. Let's see what it's like when I'm on top four. When I'm on top four flight, because I've never been on top four flight in my life in a professional career. When I boxed Andy Lee, I had seven weeks hard training out in Spain. Yeah. Now it's 12 weeks before the date I've got and I'm still miles ahead of what I want to be. Bill, let's jump to that slightly because today, Last Friday, you did say one week deadline. What can you tell us today, mate, about the deadline or future opponent? Well, look, the way I've got to look at it is, is they're waiting around to fight, or, or, or they must be waiting around for Canelo Alvarez. As far as I'm concerned, if they've got any brain amongst themselves, they, they're clearly clever people because, you know, they made themselves millionaires. But what is the difference from six months ago when he was WBC champion and he vacated the belt to give it to him because he didn't want to fight? Yeah. Because he did not want to fight. He picked a light well weight and he picked a light middleweight, Canelo. 
And yeah. we know Canelo gets in the ring 180, something like that. So yeah. he's picked someone probably two weights below him, even in Liam Smith. There's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. In America, you know, so he don't want to fight nobody because that's their gravy training. They know if they if Oscar De La Hoya loses or oh, well, he gets beat by Lofty, that's Oscar De La Hoya's gravy training stop. But what Oscar will do, Oscar will keep Golovkin's name in the mix. Yeah. He will keep his name in the mix before his big fight with Chavez. If he wins this, he's fighting Golovkin. So everyone takes more, pays more attention to the Chavez fight. And then after, what they're going to do is probably fight, go move back down to light middleweight and fight a manager. That's all what's going to happen. You know, it's not going to, oh, all right, let's have Golovkin. It's just never, ever, ever going to happen. He ain't got the balls to fight him because he gave his belt away. Yeah. So what I'm saying, my point I'm getting to is, don't worry about him. He's gave you a world title. He's give it to you. Don't put it. Don't put it on me and thinking I'm going to say, "Oh, here's my world title as well." Let's get in the ring and fight for the belts. I'm willing to go to Kazakhstan, in his own country, and fight him for my belt because there's no way will I give it to him. So, if the WBO really should put him mandatory, put me mandatory for his titles, really, like his organisation, say, "Look, get it on," because I'm willing to fight. Because I remember when I said I wanted 18 months to two years, not to get fit or to learn. More. Yeah. mature a bit more. Yeah. I'm not going to get no mature than what I am now, 27. Do you know what I mean? I'm ready to go. I'm in the prime of my life. I know that this is my best time to be here and I'm ready to go. And and just going back to that, because I know you wear your heart and your sleeve, Bill, and so a lot was made of that comment, but that was straight after your uh, win against Andy Lee, wasn't it? Yeah. Listen, you know, you made a comment, I, you know. What I, what I, I've just won the world title. Of course. I've stepped up from British Commonwealth and European <clears throat> title. Yeah. Just won the world title. What I was saying is I wanted a couple of defences, Yeah. then let's go. But it didn't work out like that. I, I got me 18 months, what I wanted to two years. Well, 18 months to say. If it happens, it'd be 18 months of time. Then. And I'm ready to go. I'm not going to get no no more physically stronger than what I am now. I'm not going to punch harder in another year's time and my lungs are going to grow. It's just it is what it is now. I'm ready to go now. Let's test the good right this second. I'm ready. My bit's signed done. What people need to realise, everything is in his favour. Yeah. Absolutely everything. It's not a case of where I want that and he don't, and he wants that. Everything's done, signed. I've even got a message on my phone from Tom Loughlin before the Jacobs fight, and I've got another message saying the contract will be sent. We've received no contract still, Tom. You're a man of your word, if you're a man of your word, send them. And I would definitely, most definitely sign them because my bit's already done with signing Frank Ron Goffitt's laying in his desk. That's two and a half weeks ago now, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Listen, saying... I understand he wants two and a half weeks ago, and I understand that the man yeah. might need a rest, but I also understand that he wants a dream fight. Yeah. Now, if he wants a dream fight against me, a big fat Jimbo, right, who <laughs> needs to just walk through and stop and beat me down and take the title, I'm willing to go to Kazakhstan and give him his dream. I'm willing to do it. But as you said rightly, Bill, if that fight was going to happen, it would have happened when he was WBC champion. Now, listen, it's never going to happen because Golovkin was still WBA and IBF champion. Yeah. Now, he, the fight, the fight should have happened then. That was that was the pinnacle of that fight. That was the iceberg of it. Everybody was raving on about it. Everybody wanted to see it. Yeah. All of a sudden, people just lost interest. But Oscar De La now is trying to bring that back up, so people will say. Yeah, let's let's watch let's watch this fight because if he wins he's fighting Glovkin. That's what's gonna happen. Because what's gonna happen then is I'm gonna sign a fight because I'm not gonna wait around, even though I want this big fight, but I'm not gonna wait around another and be like last year and sit around another ten months, twelve months without doing anything. Yeah. I wanna fight, I boxed three months ago, I wanna fight in ten weeks. I'm ready, I'm fit, you sitting here, you've been here today watching me. Yeah. I, I'm ready, fifteen rounds, four minutes uh, each round. I'm I'm fit now. Yeah, you, no you're looking great, Shane. Stone, stone yeah. two pound, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So, why not? Let's get it on. Let's see who the best is. And listen, if I get, if I go over there and get sparked in one round, I'm not going to run with me. If I go over there and get sparked in one round, I get sparked in one round. I shake his hand and beat for the better man. Sure. But if I go over there and beat him, and I want the respect for beating. So are you totally serious with this? I, I, I know you probably are, but going to Kazakhstan and fighting him in his own country, listen, mate. I'm, I'm willing to put pen to paper everything today on Tom Loughlin's side. Even that, I wanted to go bang. Mate, if, if I beat him, if I beat him, I'll give him, I'll gladly give him a rematch back in Kazakhstan. Yeah. Back where he wants. Wherever he wants to fight, I'll fight him in the rematch. If he beats me, there is no rematch clause. Okay. 
So Stunt. it's everything to his way. I'm surprised they don't want me to fight with one hand. <laughs> Bill, so today's deadline day. So if Frank doesn't hear from Tom Loeffler, where do you go from here? Because obviously the big names are Golovkin, Canelo, Danny Jacobs possibly. Well, yeah, listen, I'm not, listen, any big fight I want now. Listen, I'm with, as you know, I'm with uh, MTK. I'll yeah. be on to manager later on. I know the time zone's a bit different, so I'll be on to him in a couple of hours. I'll be on to Frank Warren in the next couple of hours to hopefully he can be in or receive anything. If not, I want Frank Warren to confirm and my management to confirm a date by at least Tuesday next week for me. And you know, I want a, I want a date to be so right. That's your slot. That, that's your slot. That's who you're fighting. Get it on because I'm not. There is no. But I'm not going to find it hard to make fights. Yeah. WBO world champion. Yeah. Anybody's going to come and fight me. Well, you, you belong. Know? You belong in that group, so, mate. If that if that fight doesn't happen, let touch what it does. If that fight doesn't happen, who's who's possibly in the WBO mix for you, like voluntary or mandatory? Look, I've got uh, obviously. First of all, see, I had my mandatory in. Uh, in its, to get seeds, what is that? Kurt Seedings, he's fighting Tommy Langford. Now, if I would have knew that they wasn't going to fight, I would have just boxed him and got my manager out of the way. Yeah. But now I've got to wait for the winner of that fight to me. So, I would like a Miguel Cotto fight. Yeah, the other name. fights there. Um, also, Jacobs. Jacobs, yeah. Uh, you know, Peter Quillen. Yep. You know, all of them, all of them will come over to England to fight. All of them will. You've got, um, also, you've got uh, Charlo just moved up. Yeah, Charlo's moved up, yeah, you know, absolutely. There's plenty of big, big fights for me. There's not where I'm, oh, I'm snooping, there's no big fights. There's plenty of big fights, but I want to see, I want to see, I want to go from here, and for my last performance was there, I want to now go bang. Let's see if you get it. Bill, I mentioned to Ben, I mentioned to Ben off camera that I was there at live for uh, your fight with Eubank Jr. Yeah. Is, that, is that still a potential? Listen, he's, he's not really earned anything. But he keeps protecting his record. He's fighting. He's fighting a. Um, he boxed 11, 11 and one last. Come on. Yes. He don't. Uh, he hasn't earned anything. I've beaten him, and you can't deal with him. He's now calling out James DeGale, George Groves, and Tony Bellew, and that's all they do is talk. Yeah. I signed. Them. I Frank one's there again to call me a liar. We agreed a fight twice. For four months last time. He missed me about last year. That's part of the reason why, really, I did box last. So I waited around for him for four months to sign a WBO World Title fight. Yeah. Again, he was getting a million pounds to fight me, coming off a loss to somebody who's already beaten him. Yep. If that was the other way around, I'd have been signed to fight him for nothing. Yeah. Let's get it back on. Let me get back in the ring. With him. He didn't want to know. If you're getting a million quid after a loss, and you're getting a million quid, and you're getting a chance to revenge a loss, what are you going to do? Oh, what are you going to do? Go and fight someone again for 25 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand. Yeah. He don't get no more, he don't get no, he ain't get big money. He's not going to get big money. He's up and down and bright on BMX. <laughs> so he's not getting no big money, is he? You know what I mean? So why not sign the fight when he did? So he's really burnt his bridges unless he comes begging, crawling back on his hands and knees. Why Ben's got his cock out and starts sucking. <laughs> and then even then, in front of me, so I'll get it on video and show the world. Ben, and we I knew might, Sammy was going to come, so do we, mate? I might even say, well, yeah, there you go, come on, come on, son, it's getting rain. <laughs> He's still going to fight that one, and that's the bottom line of it. Yes. Listen, how many chances has he had to fight for a, a legitimate world title? <coughs> Let me think, Glovkin? Glovkin, definitely, yeah, September. Uh, he, he was offered to fight me, too. He was offered to go to America and fight, I believe, um, who was the other one? Was it Quinlan? Was it? Quinlan? Was it? Was he offered that fight? No, he was offered another. He was was he mandatory for for um, the middleweight title or something? I think he was. I think it was Danny Jacobs. Well, I think it could it? have been Jacobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He swerved that. Yeah. So you know he, he swerved in a lot of big fights, and he just don't want to be in them. He he likes to mix with the stars, suck them off while he's there. <laughs> I'm with Anthony Joshua, kicking his balls. I'm with David A, sucking his knob, and don't want to fight them. Just going back to what you said about Andy Lee, it just cropped into my mind, mate, how good a boxer Andy Lee is because he fought on the undercard of Glovkin versus Jacobs, didn't he? And he still didn't get no recognition. Like, he was in, yeah. He was come back far out of that. He done very, very, very well. Went the distance for a good fire. Yeah. And people still just underscored it, you know, looked at it and just fired past it. He gets no recognition, Andy Lee. And I feel sorry for him sometimes because he, people need to take note of him. Yeah. Take note and watch him. You know, because he's a good boxer, rangy boxer, 
If he gets it, he's definitely getting back up. Yes. And he can punch. Yeah. He's, he's got all the in, ingredients. And I'll if he hits you, you can go. I would like to see you banking him. Well, that's what I was just going to say, actually. If he wants to fight a top fighter, fight Andy Lee. Listen, if he boxed Andy Lee and he beat Andy Lee, I don't think he would. I say, yeah, pretty much, come on, let's go. Yeah. But he's the IBO champ. IBO. I've not classed myself world champion as IBO. So, you just can't do that. Bill, hopefully there's uh, good news to come today. Um, do you think there's going to be, today you said maybe this afternoon you're going to check in and hopefully... Look, I'm not, don't, I don't want people to think I'm making demands. Yeah. I'm not making demands because the ball is in his court. I'm not here making demands. What people need to realise is there's a big puzzle been put together. I have the missing piece. I wanted to bring that to the table, put it in, but... Let's just not wait around another two or three weeks and say, oh, in six weeks' time, we're fine. Because that won't happen. Yeah. That definitely not, will not happen. I rather, I need to know now. I'm a world champion. I'm not someone they're going to phone up who can't get a fight and say, right, do you want to fight now? No. I'm WBO champion as well. Yeah. I'm somebody who deserves just as much notice, just as much time there as him. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, put the pen to paper, start training when you want. I'm in training now anyways, I'll be fine with you no matter what. Yeah. And let's get it on board, let's go to Kazakhstan. If not, then, you know, if, if he wants to fight down the road and, and I'm still champion, or he's still champion, he doesn't do that, then, you know, it has to be worked out some other way. But at the minute, I'm willing to fight, and it's not no shit to it. If I put my name to something, anybody that knows me, no one will get in the ring to fight. Bill, so, fair play to you, you've given it a deadline. Um, and, and if the fight happens, which I wish it would, yeah. it's for the undisputed world middleweight championship of the world. You can't get any bigger than that. Like, like, yeah, like I say, the only reason why I want it so much now is because when people say I can't, all right, I'll show you then. If you yeah. say I can't, let's say, and I know that he's the best on the planet. What better do you want to get? I'm not getting in a ring with someone thinking, well, I know I can beat him 100%. This is a, a tough fight. He's going to be fighting for it. I'm the underdog, you know? Yeah. And let's face it, if, if I get beat, I've got no ring match draws, what do I do? Scratching me, fuck me, fuck me now, you know, I'm smashed. That's what I'm saying. So that and that could be well the case. Yeah. But I'm willing to test it and willing to put it to the goods. Let's see how good I am. Bill, before I go, um, any uh, last minute shout outs to anybody? Sponsors, uh, family, no, friends. Listen, I just want to thank MTK and them for putting me up obviously over here, as they always do. Rhyming of nothing but the best. Um, thank you sponsors. Sicily.co.uk um, Joe Ricardo and that, so thanks for that. And just, no, just thanks to the fans, really, for, for, for someone who is behind me and who's been saying they're going to travel over there and we're going to fight and follow me because I know that, listen, if I've got 10 fans over there, 10, I know them 10 have probably got jobs and struggling, do you know what I mean? And they've still made the time, so I'm thinking 10 or 10,000. I'm over the moon and thank you to all of them. Billy, thank you for your time. Ben off camera, thank you, buddy. Um, and I appreciate the deadline interview. Um, and I hope you get that good news today. Thank you. All the best, bro.